Surveillance cameras show the chaos that erupted at a Kenosha bar just after a shooting back in June, and now the city wants to make sure that doesn't happen again. Our Bill Miston with the months of complaints that could mean last call for any more events like this at MVP Bar. In a license and permits committee meeting lasting hours, members deliberating for virtually minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Recommending to revoke MVP Sports Bar's cabaret license for live events. I think you were unaware of the crowd that was going to be there. I think you were inexperienced in reference to running this kind of establishment. But I don't believe, and I did not hear, a plan to improve. For hours, residents, business owners, police officers, and the bar owners themselves giving testimony to the five-member board. The hearing on MVP's cabaret license stemming from a shooting at the bar on June 30th that critically injured a 28-year-old man who was shot in the neck. Since opening in the fall of last year, police say they've had numerous calls to the bar for disorderly behavior outside of it. We didn't quite understand the severity of this and by no means at all what happened, that's not our character. During testimony given under oath by the bar owners and representatives, narratives conflicted about that night, with Rand even saying the doors were locked at one point to prevent people from coming into the bar. I do not have confidence that with a continued cabaret license after a suspension, you would be able to run an establishment that is not detrimental to the community. Rand says he hopes to appeal the decision. This here's a learning experience for us. We can still open up, but we can't have any live things. And that, we're going to look down the road and we're going we're gonna to work on that. The committee's recommendation to revoke the cabaret license will now go to the full city council. The council is expected to take that up on Monday. Reporting in Kenosha, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News.